Hidden Object Guru here, back with more Mystery Case Files, The Thirteenth Ghost. Which, uh, I guess the storm has really turned nasty, because... Wow, it, the, uh, sound seems much more oppressive and overbearing than it was last time I played the game. Although maybe I just had the headphones turned down yesterday. Handcuffs, coin purse, telephone. Wow, I remember where the coin purse was, because I thought that was the purse, but it was actually here. Mass pigeon ring, stethoscope, stool. Yeah, this is actually very loud in the old ears. Uh, stethoscope, there's the handcuff. Stethoscope I thought would be on the coat, but that was the necklace, of all things. Shoe. Dirty sock. I remember the dirty sock. Yeah, turning that down. Just for me. I mean, for you, it'll be at a constant level. Mask pigeon ring. Where's the pigeon? What counts as a mask, everybody? It's a really more of an ethical question than a moral one. Although, really, aren't I splitting hairs by differentiating between the two? I thought it would be uh, fun to get unbelievably pretentious there for a moment. And, uh, unfortunately, I'm not the one who gets to judge uh, whether or not that actually was fun. Although, I hope you will be kind in your judgment of me. Hey, it's uh, Italy. Nice. Train, stool. Where is the stool? Uh, train, mask, telephone. Train, mask, telephone. So you know the rules. If I can find two of these, we can use the hint for the last one. But I do have to find two of them. So let's ca take a careful search. There's the telephone. So you need a train and a mask. Oh, mask. Crusaders. Um, fight going all the time? Fighting crime? No? Overtime fighting crime? Anyway, uh... It's a good song, is the point. Ah, there's the mask. It was one of those tribal-looking masks that featured so prominently and controversially in the game Resident Evil uh, 5. Which... It's funny, I heard about uh, the controversy about the game being set in Africa. Right? And, uh... Like, isn't it not uncomfortable, this, uh... This white guy and this black lady stomping around Africa, just shooting a lot of black people. And then you had the other people saying, Oh, uh, what, then it wasn't racist when they were shooting Spanish people in Spain in the previous game? I still don't see it. Oh, is that a train? I honestly did, I couldn't tell that was a train, even after I clicked on it. Coins for the, what do you call it? For the, the, the slots above the paintings, right? Anyway, so they were all like, oh, wasn't that racist? And they got into this whole, who's more racist, blah, 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 blah. And that really annoyed the hell out of me, because, you know, I hate people who try to prove they're not racist after saying something racist. Oh, really? Really looked like a coin slot. And, uh, of course, that led to, uh, not a misunderstanding, per se. But, uh, so I went and I played the game, and I thought, uh, as the game started, I thought, not only is it not ra racist, it's an indictment of the, uh, actual, you know, drug company policy, uh, of these unethical pharmaceutical companies using, uh, Africa. I'm trying to. Oh, I still need a light bulb. Where do I find a light bulb? Magnolia's toy box. Okay. So, this is where a map would come in handy. Because how was I supposed to know to go see Magnolia again? See what I'm saying? A map that says, oh, you can go find something here would help. But I was supposed to know to do that. No, that's ridiculous. Yeah, and I thought, hey, this is kind of an incisive statement about the abuses heaped upon the developing world by first world pharmaceutical companies uh, using humans as guinea pigs in areas they won't care. I mean, yeah, it's a very broad interpretation of that because, you know, it's a game about a zombie virus, uh, a ruberus that made, you know, giant black liquid worms essentially turning this uh, lady into a shoggoth 
that you had to use a linear cannon to destroy in a frankly pretty awesome, uh, uh, perhaps unbelievably awesome boss fight. I just really like that linear cannon boss fight in the game. Anyway, you know, you're shooting her tendrils, waiting for the cannon to charge, you're defending against the stuff she shoots at you. It's a, it's a good boss fight, I, I maintain that. But of course, uh, so I was ready to defend the game uh, against charges that it was excessively racist, just because I thought they might have something to say. I mean, is it, is it as strong a point as the constant gardener? N no, of course not. But, you know, I'm not expecting uh, Resident Evil 5 to be John le Carré. That being said, uh, I thought it was nice that they were trying to say something positive about the world, because, you know, it's, it's set in a world of evil pharmaceutical companies killing people for profit. You know, that's, I'm not saying that's, that's something that ph pharmaceutical companies do all the time in the real world, but unethical pharmaceutical companies are a real thing, and it was nice to see them acknowledging that. So anyway, long story short, well, not short, but point is, uh, I then got to the point in the game, because you see, I don't read reviews or uh, watch videos before I play a game I know I'm going to play. I just, I just play the game. So as I was saying, then I got to the part of the game where you get to, uh, like, a theme park or something that has been built up to look exactly like a... Oh, that was blended pretty well. Uh, like an African village and all of the guys wearing headdresses and attacking you with spears and that ridiculous witch doctor you have to use the magnum on and like, oh, God, this is all so unfortunate. Like, when it was dudes in pickup trucks, zombie dudes in pickup trucks with assault rifles, the fact that they were all black, you know, didn't bother me in the least. Because, you know, that's who lives in Africa. But the second they said, oh, what if they all were dressed up like tribesmen? Uh, my response was, N no, no. No, that was not a good choice. By... by any definition. Choop. Ah, there we go. Cheese. Is that it? I don't have to do all six? Apparently not. Oh, have they poured it out into the wines? No, oh, that's sad. Although probably really good vinegar. Uh, what am I supposed to be doing here? Strong point. Aha, uh -huh. what is that? I don't have any more mouse traps, do I? Wait, oh, I have more mouse traps. What am I doing? Of course I do. I just. It was the situation where I forgot that I could rotate my. I was about to say the word menu, and I apologize. Uh, my inventory menu. It is still a. Wow. Did I just put one kind of cheese on top of a different kind of cheese? I totally did. That one, no. That one, yes. All right. I will hide in the pantry. And, uh... I'm supposed to wait for the snapping to happen, or... Sorry, is this the pantry? I'm so confused right now. One second. Hmm. Stop and fix that stool. Okay. Great. How do I wait? Oh, so I'm, I'm literally just supposed to stand here. Wow. That's some uh, high-end gameplay there, people. Oh... Oh, he's fine. They just got their tails somehow. Oh, I see. It wasn't a piece of cheese. It was a very strange kind of uh, trap with a extra, I don't know, plasticky part. Oh, really? Suddenly I feel great. Wait, which is the carriage house? Oh, nice. Uh, I bet I could put coins in there. 
Oh, okay. So. You know what? Let's worry about this when I have some idea what's going on. Aha! Whole new areas I haven't been able to do before. No, I was trying to deal with the bag of seeds. Flowering weeds creep through... The, okay. Creep through the unkempt bushes. Nice. Aww. You make a strong point. So I need uh, keys for... Oh, yeah! Uh, we saw that earlier. The square... Club, heart, and crown. But we don't know the significance of that yet. Uh, what's over here? Oh, hello! Jesus Christ! The hell is wrong with that guy? Oh, hey, one of the cards. Nice. Uh, yeah. Can we have a? What the hell is wrong with that guy? What we have is uh, a man with real emotional problems. Oh, yay! A uh, new hidden object puzzle. I thought they were gonna say, I mean, no, we gotta get rid of those bees before you can hit an object to this puzzle. But no, we were fine. Chlorine bottle. Nice. Is that what we're here for? Kinda feels like chlorine bottle is random enough to be what we're here for. Meaning, are we going to make... Oh, look at the turtle! He's moving! Hey, buddy. Um, also, I thought I saw a possum. Uh, the big question is, uh, what, uh, what adjective... Yeah, that is a possum. It seems like a great possum to me, although uh, great is not the adjective I would prefer to use to describe that possum. My question to you is, what is the, the best adjective to use to describe a possum? You know, the quality level of a possum. If you can be the first commenter below the video to correctly identify the uh, best adjective to use to describe a possum, you will win a prize. So just uh, pop that in the comments section. Another stethoscope. Nice. If you can just pop that in the comments section, you will win a prize. Uh, of course, you have to be the first one, naturally. Uh, only, uh, not just one entry per person, but only one entry per comment. It would be weird if you just, uh, did a comment putting in uh, every adjective you could think of. So, you know, just like don't put in a bunch. If, if you know the answer, put it in. But... Don't try and monopolize things. Anyway, point is, uh, remember to put in a time code for where this quiz appeared so I can check your answer and confirm that you've won. Rat. A rat, you say. Uh, where were we? Rat, crawdaddy, anchor, arrowhead. Uh, you know what? Let's do uh, a second quiz. Uh... Alright. Once I finish this, obviously. Uh, what is it? I keep thinking the anchor is going to be the end of a rope, but that is naive. Extremely naive, as it turned out. Uh, crawdad, rat, arrowhead. So the arrowhead should be pretty small, right? This game's been pretty consistent about size of things up to this point. As far as I recall. There's the rat. He blended in really well. Crawdaddy, arrowhead. So... Uh, crawdad, which is a, a... Is it a mollusk? Anyway, it's a thing that looks a lot like a shrimp, is my point. I believe... I have one of those fuzzy memories from youth of, like, finding crawdads in a stream. And it's one of those fuzzy memories that you're like, did that happen, or was that a movie? Or was it a story I was told? So it's one of those memories that you think probably happened, class trip, stream, crawdads, but you got, you don't have a picture, so, if asked to testify it in court, I would say memory is fungible, and uh, do not ask, and I cannot testify to it, although I cannot imagine a situation wherein uh, I would ever be called to testify on that, because, let's face it, uh, my childhood was not stand by me. Nobody found a corpse while we were on a school trip or anything. Uh, no children went missing. No diamonds were found. What I'm saying is... I'm a boring, boring person. Uh, what have we got here? I'm just not seeing it. 
All right, well, que, que sera, um, oh, wait, I have two items. I can't just use the hint. God damn it. Uh, I'm going to have to get pretty... Oh, there it is. The arrowhead, not the crawdaddy. So, yeah, about that second quiz. Oh, he blended in too well. Yeah, it's kind of like a shrimp with claws, isn't it? It was the chlorine model. Nice. So I'm going to make poison gas to kill that dude who uh, shot at me. Nice. But I know that's definitely not what I'm going to do. I just wanted to suggest. That seems a little big for a snake. All right, stay with the water moccasin. Gotcha. Hey, neighbor. Are you going to shoot at me too, or are we good? Oh. Break the window? Does it? I guess it's a little creepy. All right, let's put the rats here at the statue by the carrots, uh, carriage house. It's a weird place for them. Oh, this is their house. What is that? Is that a rat? That's not a rat skull, is it? That's way too big. Well, whatever. I hope they enjoy the place. Yes, that quiz. Uh, here is the, uh, the quiz question before we go talk to Magnolia. So, uh... When, uh, when we ran out of crawdaddies, like when we couldn't find crawdaddies, what did we eat? So there was no other meat. We ate, uh, we ate crawdaddies. And, uh, when we ran out of crawdaddies, what did we eat? If you can tell me that and be the first commenter to, below this to answer the question, both what did we eat and what is that line of dialogue a reference to? It's a film. I'll give you that tip. Uh, you will win a prize. Prize, of course. Uh, key, uh, game from the Steam Code Grab Bag. Uh, yeah, be the first comment to blow the video. You know how it works. Oh, and be sure, as I mentioned just a second ago. Ah, there's the comb. I think this is too sensitive to multi-clicks. Uh, be sure to put the time code of when the uh, quiz was so I can confirm that you are the winner. Raise a blade now. Bandage. Paint. Where's the paintbrush? There we go. Pills. Oh, I remember pills. I'm not going to forget that again. Bracelets. Eyelash. Curler. Well, there we go. Matchbook. So when you say bracelets, is that like real like wearing bracelets or is this some term? No, it was just wearing bracelets. Oh, I just still didn't find the bandage. There we go. I believe it's called an adhesive strip. But whatevs. Alright, let's go talk to Magnolia. See what she can offer. Or do another hidden object puzzle first. Gnome! Gemstone? No, it's not a gemstone. Uh, spider, yep. I remember you. Roller skates, huh? Are there miniature roller skates? We got a lot of old-timey, uh... Like, were these toys already in the house, or did you bring these with you? Because I find it hard to believe you brought them with you because they're covered in cobwebs and you've only been here a very short amount of time. See my point? This place would have to be lousy with spiders for that to have happened. Gemstone, roller skates, Easter egg, puzzle piece. Ah, well, I kind of forget the puzzle piece. I had to use a hint for that one. Easter egg, obviously. Button is on his eye. Drawing, game over, wrench. Wow, I'm getting a lot of repeated items, aren't I? So for the record, that uh, plane is a drawing, but I think they mean that. Yeah. I think the kid was named Amanda in that? Whose drawing was that? Oh, uh, yes. Wrench, gemstone, roller skates. What kind of a wrench, Hogaru? Wait, I can't answer. What kind of a wrench, game? Socket wrench, monkey wrench, adjustable wrench. Yeah, it was adjustable wrench. Got no line in these uh, roller skates. You'd think though that would be something that would be easy to find. You'd also think it would be at the bottom of the screen, because, you know. Wait. No, that's unrelated wheels. But there's the gemstone. Oh, wait. No, that's just a boot. Is it on somebody's feet? Is like, is it actually roller skates? Oh, God. I covered the... Uh, wor oh, there they are. The worst movie. It was about a, a horror movie about a roller derby team. So, obviously, a bunch of ladies who end up at, like, a haunted asylum. I'm glad oh, my God. What was it called, though? They really grossed me out. Before Daddy disappeared, 
I saw him turning the bottles on top of the wine rack a certain way. Ooh. I don't know what that does, but maybe you can find out. I would love to find out. You gonna tell me how? Oh, you're not gonna tell me how. Or maybe she did tell me how and I just didn't like... I wrote it down in my book or something. Did I write it down in my book? No, oh, I guess not. Alright, well, here we go. Oh, okay, it's just supposed to make a symbol. Alright, so I think you're at the far left. How do I turn it upside down? How do I rotate the wine bottles? Maybe I don't have to. Maybe these are two different ends of the thing. Although it really does look like that's that arm. But whatevs. Let's just keep at this and see what happens. Alright. Sorry, is this like a uh, Boris... I'm blanking on the man's name. Wait. That's clearly the end of the painting, right? No, maybe not. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Uh, well, let me do some of these two together. That's also not right. How can none of those be right? No, I'm not taking a hit yet. Um, okay, hold on. So if I could rotate that, I feel like that would be correct. But I can't. This is very odd, isn't it? That looks right. That, not so much. Oh, wait. I think? No, that's not right. It's upside down, isn't it? Yes, these are both upside down. All right. So it's a lady who's also, uh, I don't know, bird. I'll take a hint. Uh, yeah. I want to re-rotate. I haven't figured out how to rotate the bottles. Wait. Seriously, how do I rotate the bottles? Can you tell me how to rotate the bottles, or is this is this going to be a thing? This is going to be a whole thing where we get into a, a misunderstanding. Do I have space bar? Up, down, enter, Q, Q, Q. Do I hit Q a bunch of times? Is that... Wait, what just happened? You just have to rotate them when they're out. Oh, screw you, game. See? It's like I knew what was going on. See, like, I knew all of this. I had them, I had all of these in the right place. I just didn't know how to rotate the bottle. And the game sure as hell wasn't interested in telling me. See, done. Well, obviously not done, done. Oh, those two were, yeah, I also had to move them the other way. Uh, I guess though that goes here? Yeah. So wait, moving that breaks a bunch of bottles? That seems like a bad decision. Whoa, there's the big 13 we've been waiting for. Well, probably. Well, obviously it's a lock and you put in the severed head to be the key. He said, hoping that was true. Thanks. The big 13 seems... Oh, we're just... Okay, here's the thing that I don't want this to sound like a complaint, because I do enjoy it when they do different things in these games, but it is clear that you're kind of breaking the flow of me solving a mystery by every time I'm finding something, every time I find something, going and talking to somebody about it, right? Like, I feel like some of this we could handle on our own. You've been very busy. I can't believe you found a secret room in the cellar. I'm shocked myself. I wasn't aware there was anything in there besides old wine and rats. 
This house gets stranger by the minute. Well Why observed. Don't you ask Lewis if he's noticed anything odd around the estate. Where is Lewis? We've heard about him, but we haven't seen it. Lewis is Mary's husband. Yeah, I know. Like I said, once we saw the state of the manor, we knew we need help fixing the place up. Luckily, we our mansion and back in, do I don't know, jobs around the property. Philadelphia? Last time I Chicago? saw him, he was doing yard work in the front. Why don't you go introduce yourself? In the rain. Am I the only one who finds that unbelievably strange? Yeah, it's still pouring rain. All right, let's do it. Be that detective I've been hearing about. My Did they actually Lewis wet that guy's shirt down? Like wow. What can I do you for? The storm is already happening. I got no idea where that fella got off to. People don't just disappear. Well, you say that. On the other but... hand, them swamps is full of nasty critters just waiting to give you trouble. Snakes, gators, and the Lawsons ain't from around here. Oh. Maybe all that back and forth in the swamp with that map got him to. So he's been running around the swamp, did. has me. That's you has he. That's mean. new information. Okay. Same as the one you're carrying. I honestly do believe he thought following that map around would lead him to riches. Or at least uh, some ghost Buried pirates. treasure ghosts. UFOs got one thing in common. They well, real. I mean, UFOs are real. They're unidentified flying objects. It's just we don't know what they are. You can say aliens aren't real because we don't have a lot of, ev a lot of evidence of them, but UFOs, I I mean, by definition, it's just, it could be a balloon. Detective. It could be a, it could be a Jupiter. Life Mary is a different story. You may have met her upstairs in the manor. I have. Mrs. I Lawson helped her clean and clean kill rats. Place, but all this rain's making it hard to get anything done. That's true. You wouldn't mind fetching me some proper work gear. I somehow I knew you'd want something for you. Sure, let's get this done. So you can continue raking the walkway. What is wrong with this guy? Wow, Pippi's still an ass. And if you were rain gear, where would you be? No, I, I did notice that. Um, okay, well, obviously there's the slicker. There's the cane he wanted. Nope, okay. Baseball cap, anybody? No. Uh, boots, I thought were going to be in here, and I was totally wrong about that. Uh, okay, outside, we got nothing. Yeah, of course. All right, let's check the bathroom. Wait, was that an umbrella, or was that another cane? Ah, baseball cap. I just said baseball cap, which, ouch, it's just another cane. Uh, you got, uh, gloves or boots or... Umbrella here, lady? No. Everything's wrong, but... I do enjoy rocking the rocking horse for no good reason. Right. There's, a uh, me and the vacuum cleaner. I love that kitten. Hey, buddy. Where's the one up there? No? Alright, let's go look for boots in the cellar or pantry. Not pantry. No, pantry is the word I'm looking for. Or kitchen. Nope. Wait, I never checked the music room. You know, I can go back. Uh, no, 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 no. Gloves! Alright, umbrella and boots. Or uh, galoshes. Or Wellingtons, which are apparently named after that famous uh, guy who beat Napoleon in that fight that one time. I believe his name was the Duke of Wellington. Although I cannot tell you what his actual name was. I just know that he was the Duke of Wellington. Obviously his name was not Duke Wellington. Oh my god, do you think that is that what Duke Ellington named himself after? He just, like, was familiar with Duke Wellington, and he... Uh, the Duke of Wellington. And he was like, I'm just gonna drop the W off of that, and now I'm Duke Wellington. Duke Ellington. Probably not, right? Just throw it all into the dirt. Don't give it to him or anything. Well, thanks for rounding up them dry clothes, detective. 
Last thing I need to do is catch He's got a different uh, color hat now. Hey, uh, what do you think of this uh, metal shape I found down by the base of the old fountain? I think it's a T. That's actually not bad, animation-wise. It's kind of fun. Know where Mr. Lawson got off to see it go from 3D to 2D. to pay me cash for any of this weird stuff that I might dig up around. Ooh. I suppose he thought it was part of his lost trail. Can I pay you for that? All right. What other weird you stuff are you digging up? Kidding. You seen that crazy fountain? I don't know who built this place, but who put something like that in your front yard? It's a good you question. Climb up the attic. You want to see that other weird contraption? How do we get into the attic? Probably fix the stool out there in the shed if you can't reach the stairs to the attic. Of course, you're going to need some nails and other stuff first. Well, you're, as a quest givers go, you're not too offensive. All right. Uh, back shed, locate the replacement spindles. Will do. Hmm. More insignias, you say. Ugh. I hate that guy so much. Uh, heaven forfend we'd be allowed to use a map. Oh. That was weird. Can I move the pieces or no, they're just tuning in for no reason. Well, that I know of. Alright. Uh spindles, you say. See, I would have called this the legs, rather than, you know, spindles, but whatever. Two, three, and of course, my personal favorite, number four. Alright, so I gotta go find some, um, rear of the manor, you say. Alright, well, that's, uh, one. Um... Will they be in here, or will they all be out rear of the manor? So this is pantry, this is just outside. Any other nails in there? Yeah, not that I can see. Well, there's the hammer, so, well, two hammers. At least I have that going for me. I do not see any nails. This is very strange. Let's see what the hint says. What? Oh, in the shed. Is this not the shed? Yep, there it is. Okay. See, I just needed confirmation that it wasn't just in that one backyard screen. So we have to assume there's more nails like that. Which I just can't see at all. Pardon me. Um, hmm. Nope. Alright, let's take a hint. Oh, well you said the rear of the manor. That's not the rear of the manor. That's just in the manor. Check in here while we're at it. Okay, that was disappointing. We are just going to wait for the third hint, by the way. Oh, wait, can I look at these walls again? Or... Oh, there it is. It's really bent. Ugh. Alright, what have I got? How is that not working? Oh, I already had a hammer in my inventory. That's boss, actually. All right, let's go fix a stool. Three and done. No, oh, we actually have to do them all ourselves in whatever order we choose. Nice. All right, so where is this attic entrance? The balcony. Gotcha. Actually, that does make sense. I mean, not. Hey, there's another T. Nice. Do, do, do. Okay. It isn't? 
This is the balcony. I put it right there. Okay, you have to just click on a specific part of the screen, is the answer. Hell yes! Calendar, letter J. The bat. Probably a vampire bat, but you never know. Could just be a baseball bat. Xylophone! Type Retier. Not how you say that word. Extension cord. Uh, extension cord. I thought that was a rope for a second. That was wrong. Oil lamp, backpack, backpack, clamp, camera. Uh, backpack? No. Uh, keep going. Metal, garden shears, calendar, bat, letter J. Okay. Metal garden shears. Which, of course, makes me think about uh, my beloved Scissor Man. Oh, Scissor Man. You're such a wonderful villain. Seriously, though, if you haven't played Clock Tower, I was about to recommend you play it, but of course, it is a. both a very difficult game to, uh, to find. It was never re released uh, after the. PlayStation 1, as I understand it. Uh, also, it's a really hard game to play, so maybe I'm not actually advising you play it. Uh, but seriously, go to the YouTube and watch videos of people playing Clock Tower, and I can't swear you won't be disappointed, but I think there's a very extremely large good chance you won't be uh, disappointed. It's Boss. Uh, oil lamp backpack. There we go. Metal letter J bat. Sorry, is it not a vampire bat? No, that's a it's a spider. A spider. Oh my god, there's a cat, a rat, and a bird up here. Which who the hell is feeding that bird? But I'm not seeing hide nor hair. Uh, fun fact: bats do have both hides and hair. There's a teddy bear. Metal oil lamp. Letter J bat. Metal oil lamp. There's the oil lamp. Metal should be a military thing again. We uh, we got that before. I was just thinking about the, um, I saw Chris Matthews say the thing that, uh, bother, there it is, bothers him the most when he looks at pictures of, uh, North Korea, and this is a strange thing to fixate on, which probably tells you more about him than it does about North Korea, is when he sees all of, there's the J, ugh. When he sees, oh, it was a baseball bat. When he sees all the generals running around, they all have medals all over, uh, their uniforms. And he's always like, what the hell are all those medals for? You guys haven't been involved in a battle in 60 years. Okay. I will have to find a ramp. Or a ladder. Staircase. Anyway, some way to move that. What the hell? Oh, is it one of these? my goal here? Oh, I see. It's to put the tokens in the slots, I assume. I actually kind of like these puzzles. Oh, you can't move straight across. All right, now I feel like a dummy. Wait, how do you get back? Oh, I see. All right, um, not a problem. Thanks. Took you a little long, but whatevs. All right, now to just uh, maneuver you. Is that far enough? Oh my god, that's not far enough. This is going to be one of those, is it? Wait! No, there was no way to get that one past that guy. Alright, good good note. It, uh, 
takes a while, this kind of puzzle. In case you're wondering. It takes a, it takes a while. But once you got a couple of pieces in play, can we please just move you? Thank you. Oh my golly. I hate you. I don't actually. All right, we're six tenths of the way there. Not true at all. Uh, all right, now it's just a question of moving you down here. And uh, so what's the next part I'm supposed to do? Oh, right, of course. Take everything all the way back. So I could get this guy out of the way. And then once you got these two guys out of the way, it's basically just a uh, a case of shifting a couple of guys around and you're done. See? Like, here we go. Ta-da! Sorry. Ta-da. And we're basically done the puzzle now. As you can see. Come on, you can do this. It's possible that there is an easier way to do that with fewer steps. And uh, if there was, I apologize for wasting your time and mine. But this is the way I remembered how to do it. When I remembered how to do it. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why, but I just thought about what a terrible movie Tomorrowland was. Gotta get my brain under control at some point. Alright. Straight across, my good sir. Your work here is done. In Okay, well, it's done now. What did that accomplish exactly? Alright, well, what was the point of that? We lifted a weight. Did something happen downstairs, or...? No. So that's, uh, that's two to the left, and the other one is three to the right. No, it's three to the left. Uh, okay. Thank you. Oh no, I have to, to go back the other way. Three. This is easier than most of these because it only had six pieces. Death and destruction of do to do Ponser Mansion. Okay, wow. Harmed yet to dev it's devastated, but whatever. Wait, did we already do this? Uh, send off quick. No, yeah, we already did this. But I got the key, and that's what counts. All right, moon symbol key. Oh, for the the graveyard. Nice. I really do want to know what's going on with that uh, chain and weight and machine. So anyway, I think this is going to be a perfect time to take a break. We got to the attic. We solved a couple of minor mysteries. I think we're uh, making excellent progress. So I'm gonna call it for the night. I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming along on this journey with me. If you had a if you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's going to be some buttons coming up. Oh, I have a rope that I can lower myself down with. Uh, there we go. That was embarrassing. Uh, you can join me back here. Uh, there's going to be some buttons coming up to click on. Also, if you want to enter into the various contests, drop a comment in the comment section. Uh, also, you can just offer any questions or suggestions that you might have there. Uh, I will see you back here for more of this. Uh, newest, not newest, but newest to me. Uh, Mystery Case Files game. But until then, au revoir. <laughs>